Watts, California. Located in South Los Angeles, has a rich cultural history shaped by its diverse residents and vibrant music scene. Initially home to Spanish-Mexican settlers and later African-American families during the Great Migration, Watts became a hub for jazz and blues in the early mid 20th century. The 1965 Watts riots underscored racial inequalities, sparking activism and a stronger community identity. In the 1960s and 1970s, funk and soul music thrived, followed by the rise of West Coast hip hop in the 1980s. The iconic Watts Tower symbolized the area's creativity and resilience. Watts has its ups and downs, gangs and moments of injustice, but through it all, I believe youth like us living our own way help shape a different environment and culture for the future. The Beat A lot of people are shaped by their environment, upcoming or trauma in their life. Sometimes because they don't know who they are allows others to dictate a false personality onto them. When this happens, you really don't truly know who you are. One of the biggest things that drive us is music and sound. We hear it every day. It can be a radio playing new jams, the sound of cars passing, or some random thing happening. We are surrounded by sound that shapes us up little by little. Music can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth, and we are going to show who we are by creating our own beat and song that represents us. I'm a California girl. I'm a California girl. I'm a California girl. California girl. I'm a California girl. I'm a California girl. I'm a California girl. California girl. Summer breeze blowing on my my name is Elijah, I live in Watts, I am 14, and I go to the Boys and Girls Club. For me, the melody means uniqueness and something you can remember the song by. Individuality and expression of emotions. The type of music I like to make is soul. I like when the chords come together and create an interesting sound. The drums that resonate with the most are hip hop drums. this sound because it just gives me like a, like a really uh, like a rap vibe and it gives me confidence to like to, to rap along this it goes well with the piano and especially with the whistles it kind of adds it up and then um, their bass it, it, it gives me like a little like it's more of like a little upbeat Every time the bass hits, most important things when it comes to music and expressing yourself. Only you know how you feel, and we're all entitled to several different emotions every day. 
But when you can say what you want to say and put it on the same wave pattern that you chose, it's a whole different feeling. Sometimes you can go through these motions where you just feel like things are not going your way and you don't know what to do and how to get it out of your head. But once you just start writing, little by little, every bit of those emotions start to pour out. You can be happy. You can be sad. You can be upset or annoyed. Or you can just be you. Whatever that is. It's an expression of you. And there's so many different ways to express it. My name is Chasen. I do music because it's like fun for me and like, it helps me with my problems because like sometimes when I get mad or anxious because somebody keeps like messing with me, I just ask you, can I, I just ask my producer, Mr. Torrance, can I come with him? Because so I can just like let all the, the emotions out. the masterpiece. soul of a community or individual person no matter where you're from your voice matters this isn't just about creating a song it's about embracing who you are and letting the world hear you and as you step back into the world remember your story your music your voice is undeniably yours be you That's all you gotta do. Be you and you'll be perfectly fine.